Welcome to my unboxing of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, if this is your first time here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more coverage of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, first up, let's check out what's in the box. Inside the box, you are getting the iPhone on top with all this, it's all glass built. Much heavier phone, much more solid build than previous years. Inside the box, there's an 18 watt fast charging brick, which is a first for an iPhone. You have pretty much the same usual items found inside of an Apple box. Stickers, books, and instructions. But the one thing that you uh, may see that is different is a USB-C to lightning cable. Shout out to Apple for adding a lightning uh, tip on the bottom of the wire AirPod headphones, getting rid of the reason for you to have to have a dongle connecting you to your phone and your headphones. Now there's not much of a change from last year's model other than the camera setup on the back. The same big notch is on the front, the same lightning port is on the bottom with the same type of build. One noticeable change on the back is the Apple logo has moved down a little further than last year's phone. Give you a much more cleaner and minimal look. Also on the back, we now have three 12 megapixel camera sensors. Now you are getting a wide, ultra wide and telephoto camera. On the front of the Pro Max, it has a 6.5 inch display with a slightly better display than last year, maxing out at a maximum 1200 nits at its peak level, but averages somewhere around 850 for improved display when viewing in direct sunlight. You also can get a great front 12 megapixel camera that can do 4K. And a new thing Apple's is calling Slofies. Uh, I don't plan on sticking to that name. We're just gonna call it slow motion video. And you are getting a much larger battery than last year with the promise of an extra five hours extra screen on time than last year's model. If there was a weakness in last year's phone, it was the battery life being just average. Now, along with the A13 Bionic chip, the battery life should also improve greatly. In terms of storage, 64 gigabyte variant, 256 gigabyte variant, 512, for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So in general, the display itself is a, a very nice display, 6.5 inches on this particular phone. Uh, same notch is still there, just like it has been the last, since the last couple of years. So real quick, I wanna compare it in size-wise with some other phones that are out. Now here's one of the models that was sent out for the iPhone. And if you take a look at how the camera was a little bit over exaggerated in comparison to what we actually got, don't get me wrong, it still does look like a fidget spinner, <laughs> but it does not protrude as, uh, as much as it has in these models. But at the same time, the dimensions of the phone is accurate. This is the, I the regular iPhone 11 model i don't have a max uh pro model to compare with but uh they were pretty much the same thing uh some of the inaccuracies with how the camera turned out to be when on the actual models were a little over exaggerated but from a size wise standpoint the 6.1 inch from the 6.5 inch phone gives you an idea of what you will receive with a regular iPhone. Uh, last year's 10R, pretty much the same dimensions as that model. Again, you're getting that 6.1 inch bill. Uh, the one thing about this 10R though, it does have uh, some very thick bezeling around the actual display. And it's not an actual 1080p display, it's more along the lines of a, I don't know, I think it's like an 825, 8, 
35, somewhere in that range. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but you know, just letting you know the actual size of the actual display itself. Now, I have here uh, the Note 10. So you get an idea of the actual size of the Note. The Note is uh, a 6.8 inch display. Even though the iPhone is giving you a 6.5 inch display, it nowhere near compares to what you're getting with the Note 10. Larger phone, way smaller bezels, whereas you got the notch, but you do have somewhat of a small bezel at the bottom of the iPhone. But um, the more superior display you may, you may tend to like the Samsung Note 10 display more so than what you're getting with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Here's last year's Note 9. The Note is just a little bit bigger. It does have bezels, which kind of minimizes the screen, but um, it still had a little bit more display to work with in comparison to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So those are a few phones. I just thought I'd quickly compare them to to give you an idea of the size. Um, if you're coming from an iPhone 10s Max or something of that nature or a regular iPhone 10s or even an iPhone 10R, I would not recommend you updating to a um, to the new phones this year. Uh, wait for next year. Next year is supposed to be the one that supposedly give you the more bang for the buck. So just in general, I just want to give you this pretty much this size comparison of what you're dealing with with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But I plan on putting the iPhone through its paces to see if the iPhone 11 Pro Max can truly call itself a pro. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until the next time, I'll catch you in my next video. I'm out.